Are you happy in your condition today? What about you, brother? You're not happy here today. How we happy? Look at our people on the other side of the street. You call this happiness? This ain't happiness. This is hell. That's right. God chose you to be rulers on the earth. That's, That's right. right. This is complete hell right now. Now you heard what Miss Lady Bird Johnson said. She been in church, all her family been in church, all y'all, all our lives, right? We all come from a church background. Uh, church background. Now, when we're reading the Bible, we're yeah, talking about the everything when we, when, we put our heads let me, in. Let me, let me explain Wait a something. When we're reading the Bible, I understand it then. I, my brain can't. I'm gonna come show you why. Right I'm gonna show you why. Let me show you why you my can't understand. Is, Give me that in. My brain is out in space. Uh, Maccabees. <laughs> I'm gonna let, let me show you something. Give me that in Maccabees, three verse forty-eight. Bring it Let up. me show you something. I want to show you something too. Yeah, I'm, you see, I'm you heard it. You said you don't you don't understand it then, and your brain don't understand it now. It sure but watch this. I'm who this is? Time. Who this is right here? I, that's what I just told him. I got this. Right. That's I can see okay, so but I can see the I'm gonna ask this bro. Home. You can see? Can you see this picture? Can, can you see, see this picture? picture? Who is this right here? It doesn't look like Jesus Christ. Okay, well, so who is this? Hi. It's supposed to be Jesus. What you say? That's, um, uh, Paul. That's, 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 it's somebody else. It's, one of, it's not. It's, it's supposed to be Jesus, but it's not Jesus. Uh, okay. His name is right there. Cesar Borgia. Michelangelo painted him. Now the sister walked off. There you go. The sister walked off. Michelangelo painted this painted this, this picture of Cesar Borgia during the Renaissance era. All right, this picture was painted during the Renaissance era to give the idea and the imagery of Jesus Christ who's in the Bible. The reason why the sister Lady Bird Johnson can't understand the Bible or can't accept what's in the Bible is because during slavery, we were given a whole totally different doctrine. They didn't right. teach us the Bible. Right. They just read certain scriptures that said, obey your master, obey your slave master, because we saw them as masters and they had already groomed, pruned, and trained us to work under certain conditions. So during slavery, in the during the Renaissance era, this image was painted. What? Cesar Bogea by Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, all of them, they painted this, this, this man that actually walked the earth. This was Pope Alexander's son, all right? So now today, when you ask most of our people, who is this? They say who? <coughs> Jesus Christ. Because they've never read it in the Bible. Now this book right here, this is called the Apocrypha. It's authorized King James like Version of Apocrypha. Like it was taken out during the uh, 1600s by the Protestant church. It's actually supposed to be in the Holy Bible, but this was taken out, why? So that we can't connect our history. So when we read in the Bible, it goes from Genesis to uh, Malachi, which is from the beginning to up into Roman, up into uh, Persian Mede history. Then it jumps all the way to Roman history. Well, if you look at a calendar, you can't do that chronologically, you understand? There's something in between the Persian Mede history and the Roman history. What is it? Hold that. It's the Greek history. This is the when our forefathers fought against the Greeks. So this was taken out of the Bible so that you can't see and understand how your forefathers rebelled against the foolishness that these so-called white people were, were, were doing to us back then so that you can't make a connection to it and do that right now. Right, right. You understand that? So this was taken out. But read this in Maccabees 3.48. Listen to this. First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. Bring it out. And laid open the book of the law. The book of the law is the Holy Bible. Our forefathers, we've always used the Bible for insurrection. You ever saw the story of Nat Turner? You gotta watch that movie, bro. You ever seen Nat Turner? 
Y'all gotta go, hey, y'all go watch that movie. The Bible is what you heard about Nat Turner though. Yeah. Nat Turner, yeah, he, he turned into, a, he, he created a slave rebellion. What you, what do you think he used to create the thought pattern of getting out of slavery? It was the Bible. But now in today's time, we don't use the Bible as the, the, the source for getting us out of the condition that we're in. Because we've been dumbed down to think that the Bible is for everybody and it comes with this white Jesus. But this is what they did to put us in this position. Read this. We're in Read the hand from the top. And laid open the book of the law. So when they came into power, they laid they took out they took our books, they, which is the Bible. They took our law. The law was given to the children of Israel right. by the Most High God. He gave us a law to govern the whole earth, to govern the world. We're the rulers. But because we did not do what was in the book, according to the law, we became subject to every other nation on the planet. We right. became slaves. So when they, when we became slaves and they took the power from us, they laid open the book of the law. Come on. We're in. The heathen. The heathen are all these other nations. Your Chinese, your Arab. Your so-called white man, all of these other nations, these are heathen nations. Read. Had sought to paint the likeness of their image. They sought to do what? Paint the likeness of their image. When you look at this picture right here, there's a picture on here. You see this, these drawings down here? These drawings are when Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci were sketching out Cesare Borgia. They sketched them out. Now look right here. Look right here. In ancient times, all of the paintings of Jesus Christ of the Son of God look like this. These are ancient pictures. What did they do in the temple and in, in, in the in the uh, pyramids in Egypt? Because if everybody know about the pyramids in Egypt, right? You heard about them? When you go inside of the pyramids in Egypt, there are writings on the wall. It's called Meduneta. All right? They call it Meduneta or hieroglyphics. You heard of that before? All right, so on the hieroglyphics that are in the uh, in these pyramids, those are, who, what color are the people? They're tan. Why are they tan now? Because they once looked like this. But over time, what your so-called white man did was they, they they do what's called uh uh what's it called iconoclasm, which means they go in and they destroy images. They took their paint and they started to paint over yeah. the blackness that was in these temples. Because my understanding, um, when when he first that was his gay lover. He was gay. Yeah. Yeah. He he laid down with anything that moved. Dogs, cows, donkeys. If it had if it had legs and a twat, he was the he was he was he was the one. But right. So read that one more time. What we gotta understand, brothers, is that everything that we've been thinking and that we've been missing in this society to get ourselves right is in the Bible. Our forefathers left us as a track record, a history for what happened to us our conditions under these oppressors and how we got how we can move to get out of them right. that's why we are here today everybody's not going to listen to this word we understand that but it's not for everybody it's not by coincidence that you standing here you think you just standing here because you want to be here no the most high god he sends the word out his word doesn't go out void he right. calls those that can hear and understand these scriptures this is a spiritual book right right so read that one more time and laid open the book of the law Come on. wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image come on they brought also the priest garments they brought the priest garments you know and the first fruits and the tithe and the nazarites they stirred up who had accomplished their days then cried they with a loud voice toward heaven saying what shall we do with these and whither shall we carry them away for my for thy sanctuary is trodden down and profane, and thy priests are in heaviness. We are the priests. Now during this time, they, the history that we're reading, they took our priests and put us all in subjection. This is how we ended up in bondage in uh, 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 all these other places here in America. This didn't happen just because uh, they just thought about, it. they had a bright idea and said, you know what, let's put niggas in, in, in slavery. Why do you think this happened? Black, not a black woman, just a black, a mixed man from slavery. You say you say well, that one more time? Well, a mixed man, we came here, supposedly. Okay, so I'm going to show you why it happened. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. This is the reason that we're here, brothers, because we have been lied to for so long, we've been, we've been believing lies for over 400 years. Right. When we got off the slave ships, who taught us? The white man taught us. 
We don't know our nationality. That's why we think we black, African American. We don't know our uh, uh, the history of our people, where we come from. We've lost everything. And now we just they, they 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 give us millions of dollars to make dumb songs to keep us in this condition. Right. Why you think a sixteen year old can make uh, seven eight million dollars in a year? It's to keep our youth dumbed down. When rap music w w was first uh, uh, brought forth into existence, we rap wasn't about what we see it is today. But today we see a bunch of killing, robbing, murdering, raping. We see all those things going on, and it's placed in our music so that our young people can hear it and continuously stay in the cycle. But I'm gonna show you why this happened. Read verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God chose the Israelites. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you're the Israelites. God from heaven chose you as a special people. Right. He said, read it again. But it shall come to pass. He said, but now since I chose you, this is going to come to pass. Moses is talking to the children of Israel. Moses went up to the Mount, on Mount Sinai, got the laws from God. God told Moses, go and explain this to the children of Israel that I chose. If you don't listen to the voice of God, read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe and to do all his commandments. So he wanted us to do the commandments. What's wrong with you? Do you want rulership? Are you happy in your condition today? What about you, brother? You're not happy here today. How we happy? Look at our people on the other side of the street. You call this happiness? This ain't happiness. This is hell. That's right. God chose you to be rulers on the earth. That's, That's right. right. This is complete hell right now. Read it again. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said if we don't listen to him, come on. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses. So what we're looking at is a curse. God said all these curses shall come upon thee. And they will come upon you. And overtake thee. And they're gonna overtake you. Jump to verse 32. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. This is your sons and daughters being given to another people. This, this was being prophesied way back when. Moses was on the earth that we will go into slavery if we broke God's commandments. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters. It didn't just happen to us. It happened to the so-called Indians too. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. See, this is why we're teaching you that the Bible is a history book. It's teaching you what happened to your people and why we're in this condition right now. He said, your sons and your daughters, if you don't listen to what I'm saying, your sons and your daughters are going to be given to another people. Now, let's, let's do some math. Have white people children been given to another people? Bring it out. The white man. Have their, have their children, as a nation of people, have their children been given to another people? Put in slavery. What about the Chinese? What about Arabs? What about, name any other race on the earth that this right here happened to. Name one race. You can't name one. You'll be, you hurting your brain trying to think of one. Right. Because the Bible, this only happened to you because this Bible is talking about you. That's right. right. It's talking about you and your people. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. They gonna go into slavery. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing. For them all the day long. That means that your eyes, you're going to see your children being taken away from you, and there ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. You ever seen Roots? When they took Kizzy from her mother and father, what could they do to get Kizzy back? They never got Kizzy back. They never got it wasn't nothing. That, read it again. It was like a trap. Yeah. They took Kizzy, sold Kizzy to another plantation. What's your last name? You familiar in South Carolina? What's your last name? Clark. What's it? Clark. Carter? Clark. Clark. You from here in South Carolina? Where you from? New York. New York. Now, why are your last name Clark and your last name Johnson? My last name in the world, it was Hickman. All right? We all look the same, but we got all these different last names. Where do you think these last names come from? 
It came from the slave plantation. That's right. There was a man somewhere named Mr. Johnson in Johnson's plantation. There was a man somewhere named Mr. Clark in the Clark's plantation. There was a Hickman in the Hickman's plantation. Well, we all got these names from slavery. We right. got our last names from our slave masters. Right. Read that part again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. They're gonna go into slavery, come on. And thy eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long. Come on. And there shall be no might there in thy hand. There shall be no might. Might is power. To have might in your hand means power. God said there shall be no might in your hands to get your children back. Now, jump to verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, moreover, all these curses. All these what? All these curses. So God says all of these curses, because when you read down from the from Deuteronomy 15 through 68, you're going to read all of the curses that happen to the children of Israel. God said, moreover, moreover, all these curses, all these curses shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and over and, pers and they shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Until thou be destroyed. That's the key word. When you read in the Bible, the word until, it says that these curses are going to come upon you, they're going to overtake you and pursue you until thou be destroyed. Meaning, if you go from South Carolina to New York, guess what's going to be there when you get there? The curses. If you go from New York to Georgia, guess what's going to be there when you get there? The curses. That's why it don't matter where you go on the planet Earth, you look at your people and what do you see? The same condition. You right. got a ghetto everywhere. Right. You got a hood everywhere. Right. Why? Because we are the people that the book is talking about. That's we were right. placed in these subservient slave conditions because we broke God's commandments. But God said, moreover, these curses shall be upon thee, overtake thee, and pursue thee until you'll be destroyed. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't want to give an ear to the Most High God and what he told us. Read. To keep his commandments. We didn't want to keep the commandments like the Sabbath day. Today, the Sabbath day. We don't know nothing about the Sabbath day. So we can't keep it. I got to ask you. Where you get the soda from, brother? Bought it from the store, right? I ain't from the store. You see that? You see that? That's, a, that's breaking the Sabbath day. When you, when you buy on the Sabbath day, that is a commandment we're, supposed to, we're not supposed to break. To keep the Sabbath day means no buying, no selling, no cooking, no cleaning. But we don't know that. Why? Because we have been destroyed in America. Read that part again. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Read on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So now God has shown us something. You gotta, when you read the Bible, you gotta listen for keywords. Read that part again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So God said, when you see this right here, these curses, they're gonna be upon you for what? For a sign. For a sign. How do I know that that's Laurel Street right there? Read up. How do I know that that's something street right there? The sign tells me, right? right? So a sign does what? It identifies a person, place, or thing. Right. That's what a sign does. It gives you, it gives identity to uh, this church right here, Reverend Salmon Pastor, whoever the hell he is. He ain't teaching nobody nothing. Right. But that's how we know that this is Lansing Presbyterian Church. The sign tells us that. God said what? Read it from the top. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses, are upon us there are a sign come on and they wonder and for a wonder because we wonder why we're the last hired what? first fired why we're the ones shot down in the street why we're the ones at the, that flood the bus station why we ain't got no cars why we don't live in the big fancy houses why we don't live in the, in the nice neighborhoods why is us everywhere we go on the earth that's in the same condition why is it us these signs are going to be on Pundi for a sign and for a wonder, meaning you're gonna be able to look at all across society and you can look across the street and you can see the sign. Right. Look at the sign, that's a sign right there. Our people on the corner, give me that in Isaiah real quick. I'm gonna show you how true this Bible is. What's that, 50 and 20, 52 and 20? Uh, our sons that fainted, Isaiah 51, 20. I'm gonna show, show you how true this book is. Read this real quick. Now remember, remember we just, the, in Deuteronomy it said, the curses shall be upon thee for what? A sign. Now, these curses that are a sign, let's see what the Bible says in, in Isaiah. Read that. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Read it out. Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have what? Thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. Now where they at? They lie at the head of all the streets. They lie where? 
at the head of all the streets. They lie at the heads of all the streets. If you go to one neighborhood down here, what do you see in our neighborhoods? Where are, where, where are all our teenage black men? Where they at? Standing on the corner, chilling. Standing under the tree, chilling. Read, about, read that again. They lie at the head of all the streets. It says they lie at the head of all the streets. You see this right here? This is the sign. You see, look, look behind you. Look what she's doing. She like, yeah, that, that's talking about our, our people are happy in these conditions. We never heard of Jews are black. They happy. Come over here, bro. I'm going to show you that Jews are black. They happy being poor. They happy being, they happy being in, in, in a condition to beg for money, to beg for food, to beg for housing. We love it. Just look at them. Go ahead, sister. Do it again. Raise your hand. You, you that raise the roof on that thing. You love that thing. You don't want to see your people succeed. You don't want to succeed yourself. Right. You're happy being on the corner at a church That's smoking right. a cigarette. When are we gonna grow past this mentality and want rulership? Bring it out. Bring it out. When are we gonna grow past this mentality, brother? Give it on the earth for how long? How old are you? You look about forty-five. But I know you're a little older than that. I know you're a little older. How old you, bro? Fifty-five. Sixty. 60 years old. Your brother's 60 years old. When have you seen your people rule on the planet Earth? When? Have you ever seen your people rule on the Earth? No. You've never seen that. Why? Because God said what? We go back Go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 15. I'm going to show you why we've never ruled and why we lost our nationality as the real Jews. The real Jews are black, brother. That's those, right. Those people over there in Jerusalem right now that's claiming that they're Jewish, they're not the real Jews. Right. 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 I'm looking at the real Jews right now. That's the right. real Jews think they black. Right. The real Jews think they're African American. Right. But I'm gonna show you why. Read it again. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. God told the real Jews. He said, it shall come to pass, come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice Ooh. of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to my voice, come on. Read to observe, up. to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we lost our nationality as the real Jews because we broke God's commandments. Give me right. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. I'm going to show you, bro. Everybody in the Bible is black. Right. Except right. for Esau. Right. The so-called right. white man. Except for Esau, the so we say so-called white man. Cause brother, what color is your hat? What color your hat is? How many people you see walking the earth look like that? Nigga, one damn eight. Do you see any people walking the earth looking like that right there? No. See, you can't be baffled and, and, and afraid to talk about the condition of your people and the so-called white man. They don't give a damn when they shoot your behind down in the street. Right. <laughs> They don't give a damn when they turn you down for a job that you need so badly That's to take right. care of your family. Right. Why should you give a damn about them? Bring it out. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Come on. Judah morning. Judah is in morning. You are the Jews. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. Right. Read. And the gates thereof language. The gates of Judah is languishing, meaning they lack leadership. We got, uh, uh, uh. What's his name? What's the president's name? Falling up the stairs. You got Joe Biden for a leader. You got Coon Jackson Jackson for a leader. You got Al Sharpton for your leaders. You have Barack Obama for your leaders. These are not leaders. These are put. These are puppets set up to design and orchestrate how society works. Read it again. Do the morning. The Jews are in morning. Come on. And the gates thereof light breathe. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. So if the Jews are black, who the hell are them people in the land over there talking about they the Jews? Bring it out. Who are them? Give me that in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it up. Who are those people in the land today claiming that they are Jews? What you going to find out, bro? Is those are your damn enemies. That's those right. are the ones who paid for your, slave, your enslavement here. Right. right. Read. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. Bro. I know thy works. And that tribulation. God says, I know your works and your tribulation. And your tribulation is your suffering in America. Right. right. Your tribulation is the is, is the slavery that you have endured here in this country. Right. right. Your tribulation is sitting on the damn corner thinking, laughing at the word of God is something funny. That's but you right. won't be mocked in the end, brother. And God knows right. your tribulation. Come on. And poverty. And he knows your poverty. God knows the poverty that the real Jews are in. Read. But thou art rich. He said, but you rich, brother. You are rich, brother. Come on. 
And I know the blasphemy. He know what? I know the blasphemy. What is blasphemy? Blasphemy is lies. Bro, blasphemy is lies. Read that part again. And I know the blasphemy. And I know the lies of them which say they are Jews. Read it, read it a little slower. Read it again. I know the blasphemy. He knows the lies of them. Of them. Which say they are Jews. Who say they are Jews today? The Bible says, I know the lies of them who say they are Jews, but what? And are not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So there's a people on the earth today that's calling themselves the Jews, and the Bible says what? They are not. And they are not. So who calls them? Do you call yourself a Jew? Hey, brother, right here, let me ask you a quick question. Are you a Jew? Look, you see how he's shaking his head? Hell no, I ain't no Jew. Yes, you are. You are right. a Jew. That's You're right. right. You the real Jew. Right. That's, right. that's how. That's what this painting did, brother. Now we don't know we're the Jews. We just say, nah, I'm black. I'm African American. Nah, bro. You are the real Jews. That's right. right again. I know the works and tribulation. I know that works and tribulation. And poverty. And your poverty. But thou art rich. But you rich, bro. Why? Because all of the promises that were given to the Israelites, they still exist. They right. are still yours. Right. They are still yours. Right. You got to come back to your promise. Right. You got to turn away from the filth that you've been following here in America. Right. Your Christmas. Your Thanksgiving, your birthdays, right. your Fourth of July, That's and right. come back to the laws of God, Passover, That's Feast right. of Unleavened Bread, right. keeping the Sabbath day, right. keeping the new moon, following all of the customs that were given to the real Jews. Bring it up. Read it again. I know thy works and thy tribulations. God said, "You know our works. Our works in this country are evil." That's right. Nowadays, you see this. You see what the the laughing. That this brother right here is doing, that's evil work right there. Right. You know what he's doing? He's teaching the woman that he's probably laying with to hate the word of God. Right. It's right. funny to him. He's a God on the earth, but he thinks the word of God is funny. You see how jacked up we is? He's up. poor, living in poverty, and he thinks the word of God is funny. He's been suffering in this country for over 500 years, and he thinks the word of God is funny. You are the joke, brother. It's because of brothers like you, we can't get out of this condition. Bring it's up. because right. of brothers like you, our sisters are raped. Rob, murdered, and stay in the dumb mindset that they are in this day. You, brother, you caused this condition. Right. Give me Psalms chapter 96, who will rise up for me. Because the up. problem that we're having is black men don't want to stand up. Right. Black men love to stay in the condition that they're in. Smoke weed and play video games. That's all the hell we want to do. We don't want to come out here and teach the word of God boldly. You know why? We, you, you, they, they, they think we punks. Hey, they, they, they think we some suckers. They don't know we was once in them streets. Yes, they right. don't know we done shot, killed, murdered, sold drugs too. Right. We were just like you. Right. You ain't no different. Right. But you can change too. Yeah. You can change too. Read what you got. Uh, Psalms 96 and what? Uh, uh, I rise off me. Psalms 96 and 5. What is it? 94, 16. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Read. You know. Who will rise up for me? Read it again. They stress that first word. Who will rise up? For me, God says, who is going to rise up for him? Who? Will it be this brother right here? Put the damn camera on him. Is it going to be this lackadaisical, lazy-ass black man right here? God said, who is going to rise up for him? Not this Negro right here. Read. Who will rise up for me? Read it again. Who will rise up for me? Against the evil doer. Read it again. Who will rise up for me? Against the evil doer. Who will rise up for me? Against the evil doer. Who's going to stand up for me? Against you, evil This with these men in purple, this is what you see going on. That's right. Hey, this ain't just going on here. This is going on all over the earth. That's, that's right. God says, who is going to rise up for me? Come on. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? We're going to stand up for God. That's right. For workers of iniquity. You know why? Because we're tired of seeing our people in this condition. Right. Why we got to take goddamn bus? We made the bus. Right. Right. We made these damn buses. Why we got to ride them? We created electricity. Why we got to pay for it? Right. We built the goddamn White House, the president, the uh, suite. We built all these things. Why don't we reap the benefits? Bring it out. Bring it Why? out. Because we are the people that God chose and we broke his commandments. What we're telling you, brother, is come back. Come back to the commandments that God gave you. There's nothing out there in this world. This world is soon to be destroyed. That's right. Where do you want to be at? On this side, Prophesying, teaching the word of God, helping your people repent, or on that side of the street with this ignorant ass brother right here waiting for destruction to come. That's the decision you gotta make. We used to scream black power.
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.